Oasis TV, bringing worlds together. All my life, I wanted to be loved. I wanted people to approve of me. And here I was, I sort of had it all. And I remember one day I was sitting in the back of a limousine and I had my Nolan Miller beaded gown on and my diamond earrings and necklace and my fur coat and my award in my hand that I just picked up from some award show. And I was sitting there and I thought, is this it? Is that all there is? I mean, this is everything that I thought would be the answer to all my problems, and there's still an emptiness inside of me. Dynasty did get a bit in the way because we started <laughs> working and it was practically nonstop. Um, but I think it was sort of eventful for me about the fifth year of Dynasty when I realized that in the show we had accomplished so much that uh, we'd all become very famous. The show was a success. We were really um, loved all over the world. I finally had made a lot of money, so I felt kind of safe. And yet I realized that with everything that I had, there was a part of me that was very unfulfilled. And a sort of, is that all there is when you're at the top and you've got all these things, and yet you long for something else? And obviously it's not outside of you, because you have all of that. There's still a longing for something more. This isn't doing it. I still have my insecurities and my fears. Uh, I may be rich, but I still feel poor. What do I do now? And I didn't know where to look. I didn't know where to go because I tried so many things, uh, different religions, uh, different meditations, different speakers, different books. And it was all philosophy. I was hearing and reading similar things for everyone, but it wasn't changing my life. 